up this morning. Well, for most people, um, the fun of playing mini golf, something they look forward to in the summer. Our next guest, though, has a love-hate relationship with this very popular family attraction. That's because her family owned a Tom Thumb miniature golf, and she says it robbed her of her summer freedom. She's written about the saying. Uh, she's written about saying goodbye to her childhood home in the funny, heartwarming memoir, My Family and Other Hazards. And we're happy to welcome June Melby to the show. Welcome back to Wisconsin. Hi, thanks so much. Love the title. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, because family isn't kind of a hazard, is it? <laughs> well, that's the point. Yeah, you know, there's 18 hazards plus the other family members, the other four. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, Summer, I think mini golf, you know, one thing I, I thought was interesting kind of in some of your information is it's almost this um, pastime that's sort of going by the wayside. Not as many people are playing anymore. And this is part of sort of your memoir to it is including mini golf as this, you know, thing that a lot of us remember from our childhood. Well, and a lot of families make it part of their summer tradition. They yeah. come back year after year year after year and what I loved about our place was that uh, people would keep coming back with their own kids and they'd say I remember coming yeah. here when I was five so I'm not here with my five-year-old and uh, bringing their grandparents and all. you can see all the generations playing together and you see how people age you can see how they look <laughs> as they get old. Yeah, really but fun. What's interesting is with your family you didn't just go back every summer and play mini golf your parents decided to stay one summer and actually bought the business right, right? it was a Tom Thumb. Right it was a hand-built mini golf course it was made by a school teacher with some extra free time uh, 1959 wow. using whatever materials he had on hand so like the, there's a castle with doors that open and close but the turrets are empty soup cans wow and the the little flag poles are made from we think tv antennas no Cute. way yeah yeah so it was all it was sort of like a handcrafted where someone else might make a doll house in their basement he made a mini golf course wow. and then he sold it to my parents in 1973 yeah do you know for how much oh gosh Whew, maybe forty thousand, forty to fifty thousand okay. dollars. Okay, but it's on a lake, so it's a lakefront. People could come oh, by wow. either. So by beautiful boat. setting. Yes. Okay. Really neat. Well, one thing that it, you guys also helped kind of with the creation too of some of the hazards. Is that right? Right. 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 Well, you know, like the way other families might plan a vacation, we would plan like what else could we put a hole number fifteen <laughs> and, and try to scheme up new devices because we wanted to, we wanted to change it up for people because people came coming. People kept coming back time after time, all summer, then year after year. Was there a windmill? Because that was always my favorite. <laughs> yeah. The windmill at the <laughs> mini golf thing. Windmill. You got to put through the, the, yeah. the windmill. You have arms. to have a windmill. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone yeah. needs a windmill. So, so I read about one? that. Yeah. yeah. You know, people need a windmill. So there you it have is. a windmill. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that got started. I love I it, no though. That's idea. the best mini That's golf a good hole. Answer. You wait for that hole when you're playing mini golf, is the windmill hole. We have six mechanical hazards. Okay. Six open holes. Okay. A lot of gadgets. My dad was sort of a frustrated inventor. He was a little bit like the dad in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, going <laughs> off in his workshop and making these really overly complicated contraptions <laughs> because that was his ideal. Some worked on roller skate wheels that turned on hand carved cams and Neat. devices that switched lights that flashed. He threatened to add car horns, like a death ray <laughs> horn, if you miss the shot. That's awesome. Uh, so it would sound off, and everybody would the know. Shot. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about for you personally? You, you felt like you gave up some of your, especially your summer freedom, because of this family business, right? Right. Right. Well, you know, um, the last day of school in Iowa. We load up the car at noon, we drive into Wisconsin, and then we were open seven days a week, 12 hours a day. Wow. The night before school started, we load up the car, drive back to Iowa, start school the next morning. No way. Yeah. The next day. The next day. So that yeah. was our summer. So instead of taking a vacation, we were helping everybody else with their summer vacations right. in a way. Mm -hmm. So of course, as a kid, you know, I hated it. <laughs> but uh, you know, later I realized it was kind of awesome. Yeah. You know, people were laughing and having so much fun in the backyard. You know, it's not like running a dentist office where people are unhappy <laughs> right. to be there, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> They're not scared of you at mini golf. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but I think the neat thing is there's this universal theme of what it's like to lose your childhood family home or maybe a, a family business, things like that. How do you think that relates or, or other people who've never had a mini golf uh, course can relate to your book? Well, you know, it's not unlike having a family farm, yeah. where you put so much of your heart and soul into the place, mm -hmm. and there's so much of you there, and it's not just a home, um, and so giving it up is really, really difficult, because, mm -hmm. you know, we spent so much time 
painting and improving. We really wanted it to be as good a shape as possible. Um, but it's, it was rather like, you know, like a farm family. Instead of having a swarm of locusts or something or a big storm coming, we would have a storm of Boy Scouts, you know, 50 <laughs> yeah. 10 year old boys <laughs> wash up on shore in their canoes, you know, needed to be helped out and make them cotton candy and snow cones. Does it still exist? Yes, it does. It does, but your family doesn't own it anymore. Correct. Was it harder for your parents to sell it or harder for you and your siblings? Us. Really? I think yeah. Your parents were probably ready to. They were ready to stop working so hard and they were ready to retire. It was um, definitely hardest on my sisters and I. Yeah. I think maybe even hardest on me because I was living in California at the time. Mm -hmm. And giving up Tom Thumb was, you know, really, it was like giving up summer. Mm -hmm. And who, you know, who wants to do that? That's so cute. You're back in Iowa now. Would you ever consider rebuying it? I don't think I can afford it. It's for sale right <laughs> now, for crying out loud. It is yeah, for sale right now. Yeah, it's in, in Wapaka. Wow. Yeah. It's in Wapaka. That's interesting. You've got to start one of those Kickstarters. There you yeah. go. Yeah, you know, raise money or whatever. Raise money yep. to, like, <laughs> thumb drive. There you go. I like it. You have That's a book great. signing tonight at 7 o'clock. People can meet you in Economawalk. Um, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock, again, Books and Company. That's correct. Um, you also have a website, junemelby.com. What's the best way for people to pick up a copy of your book? Your independent bookstore, I've been a big fan of support your local independent bookstores because they provide a place for people to gather just the way Tom Thumb did. And I feel like that's worth our, you know, our money it's our, yeah, and our yeah, business. support. Yeah. Uh, but you can buy also Barnes and Noble and Amazon and every other place. It's great. Awesome. Thanks great for to meet you. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Being yeah. here. It's great to it's have a you. Pleasure.